Hi, Samuel Sunday School. I hope you guys have been well. Uh, how old is your week? I hope you guys are spending your summer break not just watching shows and playing games, but remember to read the Bible and pray at least a little bit every day. Today, we're going to continue our study on Jesus' uh, many parables, and today's title is called The Parable of the Unmerciful Servant. Some of us might have heard this one before. Our main verse will be in Matthew chapter 18, verse 21 to 22. Then Peter came and said to him, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Up to seven times? Jesus said to him, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to seventy times seven. And this is the word of God. Amen. Now, even though today's main verse is in Matthew chapter 18, verse 21 to 22, after you guys watch this video, I want you guys to go back and read Matthew chapter 18, verses 23 to 35. This is the entire story of the parable of the unmerciful servant. So I guess one day, Peter, which is one of Jesus' disciples, he must have had an argument with somebody, someone that didn't like him and maybe mistreated him. Now I say this because Peter, after encountering such a very troublesome event, he goes to Jesus. And he goes to Jesus with a very good question. Jesus, how many times must we forgive our brothers and sisters who sin against us? And to answer Peter's question, Jesus gives a parable. Now, long ago, there was a king. And this king had a lot of people who owed him a lot of money. So the king began with the person or the slave that owed him the most money. Now, this particular slave ended up owing the king 10,000 talents. Now, I'll tell you exactly how much this is later, but 10,000, that's a, that's a lot, right? So this was the number one guy who owed the king the most money. Now, this slave owed the king so much money, but then the slave said, Oh, I don't, I don't have enough money to pay you back right now. Please give me some time. But... The king ordered his guards to sell the slave, to sell his wife, and sell his children, everything the slave had, so that the king could be repaid. And suddenly the slave fell to the ground and begged the king, please have patience with me, I will repay everything. In other words, the slave is asking for more time. Please, king, be patient, I have, I'll get the money. And then the king saw the slave, and the Bible tells us that the king had compassion towards the slave. It means the king cared about the slave. So then the king released the slave and forgave this huge debt of 10,000 talents. How do you think the slave felt? Probably something like the image here. He knelt down and he's holding his hands together saying, Oh, thank you so much. So then the slave leaves the palace and just goes about his regular everyday life. Now eventually, the slave ran across someone who he found that owed him money. And when he found the man who owed him money, this greedy slave did not ask nicely. The man who owed the greedy slave money said he didn't have it, that he needs more time to get the money. Isn't this the same thing that the greedy slave did to the king? But... The greedy slave seized him and choked him, saying, Pay me what you owe. Give me my money. So when the slave did this to the king, what did the king do? The king forgave the greedy slave, right? But here, the greedy slave, no image of forgiveness here. But this time, the slave had no compassion and placed the person who owed him 100 denarii in prison until he can repay the debt. And so other slaves saw this and reported it to the king. What do you think the king's reaction would be like when he finds out that this greedy slave who he forgave and had compassion on didn't do the same thing to someone else that owed him money? So the king found out and summoned this greedy slave back to him. And he said, you wicked slave, I forgave you all that 10,000 talent debt because you begged me to have mercy. So if I forgave you, 
Shouldn't you forgive others? And so what did the king do? He placed the slave into prison and had the torturers torture him until all his debt of 10,000 talents be paid back. The conclusion to today's story, today's parable, is this. In Matthew chapter 18, verse 35, Jesus says, My heavenly Father will also do the same to you if each of you does not forgive his brother from the bottom of your heart. In other words, just like the greedy slave, if we don't forgive others, then God will not forgive us. Right? How much did the greedy slave, it's the one on the left, right? How much did this greedy servant owe the king? It was 10,000 talents, right? Now, one talent is worth 20 years of money, of your wages, when you work and you get paid, right? Right? So let's say, for example, that every month this greedy slave gets paid $1,000. So then 10,000 talents worth of that is $240,000. This is almost a quarter million. This is a lot of money. But then the slave begged to the king, and what did the king do? The Bible says the king had compassion and forgave this slave. And so this greedy slave goes out of the palace. And then if you guys look at the picture on the right, the greedy slave met another person that owed him money. And how much was that? Do you guys remember? It was 100 denarii. Now, you might not know how much that is. If 10,000 talents, for example, let's say that was $240,000, right? Do you know how much 100 denarii is? It's 40 cents. Right? Compared to a quarter million dollars, this 100 denarii is 40 cents. It's not even 50. It's not even a dollar. And so this greedy servant goes to this other guy and pretty much says, where's my 40 cents? Right? So if we don't forgive our brothers and sisters, then God won't forgive us. Jesus answered Peter's question. What was Peter's question? How many times must I forgive my brother and sister? And Jesus says this, Forgive not seven times, but up to 70 times seven. Now, do you think Jesus is testing Peter's math skills? Saying, hey, Peter, what's 70 times seven? That's how many times you have to forgive your brother. No. 70 times seven, when Jesus says this, he's saying it in a way of unlimited times. So when Peter asked Jesus, how many times must I forgive my brother and sister? Jesus is telling Peter, until the end. You keep on forgiving them. What do you think the greatest thing that you and I have received forgiveness of from God? Our sin. Right? We were supposed to die because of our sin, but because of Jesus, we don't have to die anymore. We have the uh, the gift of eternal life. God forgives us all the time. Every day, you and I, we make mistakes, right? But God says, oh, I forgive Mate, I forgive Shima, right? I forgive Hannah. So he for God forgives us all the time. But if we don't forgive our brothers and sisters, we're just like this guy. We're just like this greedy slave who because of 40 cents couldn't forgive this guy, but then he had 10,000 talents worth of forgiveness from him, from the king. So if we are like this greedy servant, if we're like him and we cannot forgive our brothers and sisters, what is God's reaction going to be? The same thing as the king. Shouldn't you forgive others just as I forgave you? So God's going to say the same thing to you if you don't forgive your brother. Oh, you're not done. I forgave you, but why can't you forgive your friend? Because you can't forgive your friend, I'm not going to forgive you. So we can't be like this greedy slave. I pray that our Samuel Sunday School group will be a loving and forgiving group that will always remember God's mercy 
and forgiveness on us so that we can forgive our brothers and our sisters up to 70 times 7 times. Amen? Let's pray. Loving Father God, we want to lift all thanksgiving to you at this time. Father God, today we have covered the parable of the unmerciful servant, and we found that this servant truly did not deserve the mercy of the king, but the king had compassion on him and still forgave him. Father God, we are just like this greedy servant. We don't deserve mercy, but because you love us, you sent us Jesus Christ in order to pay for our debts, pay for our sins. And so because of that, we're able to have a chance at eternal life. But Father God, may we not continue to be like the greedy servant. Father God, this person went out to uh, choke a person that owed him 100 denarii. Father, this small and useless amount. Father, we pray and ask for the strength from you to forgive our brothers and our sisters around us, no matter how wicked or how badly they may treat us. But Father, may we remember this parable of the unmerciful servant. May we store it deep within our heart so that when the time comes, we can think about this parable and be able to forgive all kinds of people. Because, Father God, we are reminded today that you forgive us all the time. We thank you for all that you have done. And we pray and ask all of this in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's give glory to God. Okay, guys, have a good and safe week. I will see everybody next week. Bye.